new uh, Google website here, which is, you know, f uh, you can share it publicly with anyone. I will be discussing our things move on uh, in the way of sharing uh, and giving the permission to other users as well for editing purpose. Now, once I click on the create button, and, uh, which, uh, now you are taken to the second part here. Now, this particular place has a couple of settings which you need to, you know, work out for uh, creating your first website on sites.google.com. Uh, so very first thing it says the template. So there are a couple of things which you can choose from. First of all is the blank template. If, in case if you want to work it, on, uh, work on your website with Scratch, uh, from Scratch, then uh, you need to you know choose this. If you are if you are you know very much into customization of your website and it's very pretty easy. In case if you want some particular uh, uh, template, you can just click on this browse gallery for more. Here, once I click on this particular thing, it will open up some, some templates which are already there in the Google site, right? So if, if you see here, classroom site, soccer team, and spring uh, floral wedding instructional, these are the templates which I've re used previously. So they are just like uh, a very uh, quick, uh, you know, access links for me. Whereas I'm going to click on this uh, browse gallery more, and here we have a couple of categories which you can, you know, choose and corresponding to those categories you will have uh, uh, your you know, references for the different templates which you can go and use. Now if I click on any, uh, any of them, uh, let's say I click on this modern theme, it will take me to this particular place and when I sc scroll a little bit uh, lower, I have uh, like selecting the template, cancelling and going back to this gallery. So it's up to me how how I you know go and select it. So if in case I want to go with this particular template, I can go go for this. In case I want to choose some other, I can go back to gallery. I can choose some other templates as well. So it's all our own uh, uh, you know, you know, means to use these templates. So what I am doing right here is I'm not going to use any template. I'm going to you know keep it uh, uh, straight to the blank uh, template so that I can customize as I want. One thing why I'm choosing this blank template, it's very simple and it's very easy for anyone to start with. Once you are you know through with this blank uh, template, you can actually go and explore all these templates on your own later on. And I don't think there will be any any challenge with this. The only difference in blank template and the uh, site templates which are available here in the list is that you, you will get couple of pages already already created for your website. Uh, what I do is at the end of the session I just try and show you how how uh, it, it goes on once I select these templates which are given in the list, right? So I keep it for the last of the session, okay, for the end of the session. So right now I'm selecting only the blank template so that you can start because this is the first time, most of you are the first timer and you, you want to, you know, just go and hit the street. So, next thing which is very important here is the name of the site. So, as uh, we are in fun with Google, so I uh, have given this name only. If you want to change the name, you can change the, uh, the name to whatever you want to start with. So, what I am doing is fun. Uh, with and I make it caps only, right? So that it looks good because this is going to be title of my website. Now next thing, if you see, it says this site location. Now site location, it says https col colon backslash uh, backslash sites.google.com slash site slash fun with Google. Now this is going to be our URL for our website. As this is a uh, uh, is a, this is a free uh, service, so uh, Google provides us with a specific URL on their website only, right? So it's like if you want to forward it from your own domain which you have purchased, that can also be done. We will be discussing this in our uh, uh, further uh, session, right? Uh, and this is uh, I will say that handle. Uh, this particular thing, the fun with Google will be the handle for this particular website to access 
on sites.google.com, right? And next thing it says is select select a theme. Now there are a couple of entries here. Now whatever you want to go, you can uh, you know ex, uh, go for any of these things. This is just the background style, right? So I again select the blank uh, slate. In case if you want to go for any other, you can go for it. And uh, the major advantage here uh, choosing these themes is you can change them later on. Uh, once uh, you create your website and in settings you can change. You, I, I will show this as well in uh, uh, just a couple of minutes. Uh, more options, it says if you want to give the uh, description for the site. So the description which I say here is, uh, let's say this website is, oops, site is created uh, for fun with Google session. So any, any description which relates to your website can be given here. Now in case if uh, if you feel like that the content which you are putting on, the, on this particular website is uh, for the uh, people who are above 18, you can check this particular uh, link. In case if you, you are sure that your content is for everyone, uh, you can uh, leave it unchecked. So next thing is I need to you know prove Google that I am not a robot. So I'm writing S C R I L L I V. So I hope this is uh, right. This is correct. So once I click on oops, it doesn't recognize us that I'm a human. Anyways, let's try again. Okay, the URL, site URL, it's saying the site URL which I have given here is not allowed. Okay, so fun with Google is not allowed. Might be some someone else have created fun with Google and uh, I so, call. Anubendra, sorry to stop you. There were some, in the, in the right side there is a uh, questions. In that, yes. in these, they have put some questions, like uh, Harminder, she asked, Hermit, she asked some questions. You just uh, uh, clear those things after time, because that's what I wanted to clear, because there are some questions on your topic. Okay. Hmm. From from where where shall I check? The right side, there is a questions. There is a small, below, uh, you have a menu, na? audio, dashboard, attendees, polls, questions. X one is the audience view screen sharing uh, that is attendees polls questions attendees and then it says it shows chat only chat only okay okay I'll just I'll just forward some of the questions what they have asked so that you can ask okay okay right right right, right. okay you can keep continue okay so uh, I think I need I need to change the URL fun with Google. I made it raw as the addition part. So I click on create site. Uh, again, the chosen URL is not. So I type it as uh, raw Anupinder, just for fun. Uh oh, B U R I S. Okay, so now it is creating our uh, site. Uh, Raghav, are you posting the questions? No, no, I'm not posting right now. You just keep continuing. Okay. Okay, right. So uh, as you can see that we have a very default view. It says fun with Google as a title which we have given there. Uh, as I changed our handle, that is Rao Anupinder, uh, because fun with Google was not accepted. So our website will be accessed through this Rao Anupinder, right? So whenever you want to access this particular website, you just type in this whole link, sites.google.com slash site slash Rao Anupinder. So this is the pub, uh, access. Now by default, it, uh, by default when I, whenever I create my website, it has given a default public access. So that right at this point of time, if you want to access this link, you can directly go and access this link. So it's all, uh, you know, up to you how you explore it. 
Now the point uh, uh, which I want to you know uh, share it here at this point of time. So if you see this whole view, this is the title of the uh, website. On the left hand side, you will see that there are a couple of uh, two links shown. One is the home, and another is the sitemap. Sitemap is basically all the links which you can you know which are available on your website. On the top right hand side, you can see four different buttons. First is first button is for the editing purpose of the current page, which is uh, you know uh, right now in focus. Second button is to create a new page if you want to create. Right now. So we will we will be creating another page as well. Now, third thing is these settings. Now, this is a very you know detailed one. Uh, the, all these things I'm going to share uh, in a short while, but you, ju just for the time being, you uh, can take it as that all these settings which are related to your website or your current page are residing in this particular section. And the last one is the share. Now, this right now, if you can uh, see on your screen, it says public on the web. Now, if in case I want to, you know, uh, change the public part to the uh, private or unlisted or something like that. I can change it from this particular place. So I, I just need to, you know, click on this change. I can have any of these three options: public on the web, anyone with the link, or specific person. When I click on specific person, I need to provide some specific addresses for this, right? So it's all up to us that how how uh, we can, you know how we want to share our website and most of the time we need it to share with everyone so uh, by default I keep it uh, uh, public on the web right so I'm going back to the website again so the very first page we have is the home so if I want to edit this particular page I can click on this particular button and I can put any text out uh, out on this particular page so I write it as this uh, page is the home page of fun with Google website right so now if, if you see once I click on the edit page and I type in the text at the top of the page you see a couple of things which you can uh, you know I, I hope you can recognize because they are all similar to what you use in your uh, word documents so if I want to you know format this text bold italic underline the uh, text I want if I want to give the color to this particular text, everything can be done from uh, this uh, this particular toolbar only. If I want to put some points, the bullet points, I, I just need to click on this, and this is the first point. This is the second point, and so on. If you want to change it to the uh, simple bullets, previous was what the was the numbers. This is first and second. So it's all up to you how you use it. You want to format it for, uh, let's say, uh, center line, left line, or uh, let's say you want to, you know, make it like, like intended for uh, uh, you know, one tab or two tab and something like that. So it's all up to you how you do it. Even the similar thing, the Control Z undo, also works here. So if you feel like that the last change which I have done is not right, you can do. You can just hit Control Z. All the things, Control Z, Control C, uh, that is copy, paste, and cut. Everything works here, uh, and in a, a similar manner, manner as you do in your documents. Now, other thing which I want to you know uh, significantly refer here is the Insert button. Now, this is the section where you can do a magic. Now, if you see all the things which you are accessing on your Google. Uh, Ecosystem is available here: YouTube, Map, Hangouts, Groups, uh, Google Plus Pages, uh, or your profile, your Drive, your uh, Charts, Calendar. Everything you can share it. Even you can insert pages, new links to the uh, particular. Uh, um, let's say you want to add a link for a particular website. That can be done here. You want to add some sub pages uh, to the listing. That can be done horizontal line plus button this plus button is actually the, uh, the similar button which you have uh, on your Google Plus page similarly you can use for recent post and everything so it's all up to you how you experiment with it I will be showing a couple of the things uh, once uh, uh, we create a, a 
particular sample, right? And uh, you will be amazed to see that how all the ecosystem can be embedded in your site. Now, next thing is the format part. Here you can, you know, use headings. You can use uh, subscripts, superscripts. If you want to put some code, let's say you are a computer te uh, computer teacher and you want to put a, per a particular set of instruction uh, in your uh, uh, web page, you just click on code. Let's say I want to, uh, you know, uh, write a function test, and this function test has uh, and a so what I need to do is I just need to select it and I need to form it as code so it will be formatted as the code part right so whatever the format standard format used for the uh, uh, computer code that can be you know done with using this particular section similarly if you want to put things in a block code you just select a particular uh, text and put it as a block code. So that can also be done. So it's all, all up to you that how you use these formats for as per whatever the content you want to share, right? Similarly, you want to uh, insert a table. This is in a similar manner as you do in your uh, uh, Word document, right? So if I click on this, uh, let's say I want to insert a table, whatever the number of columns I want to put, whatever the number of rows I want to put, I just click on this and the table is created, right? So this is uh, the beauty of this particular uh, layout. Now next thing is, this is this is the most important part. Let's say you want to divide your page, this particular page into two sections, or three sections, or something like that. So all, all the orientations are already given here. So let's say I want to, you know, keep two sections on, on my web page. And uh, let's say I want, I have this code on my right hand side section and description with respect to this code on the left hand side section. So these things can be parallelly done. So it's all up to us that how you how we format our particular content. So every page which you create on your website is worked upon like this only, right? And this is pretty easy. It doesn't require you any, any prior knowledge of HTML. It doesn't require you any prior knowledge of JavaScript. It doesn't require you any knowledge of uh, CSS for formatting purpose, right? So everything is very handy. You just click on these uh, handy shortcuts or uh, menus and all. You get whatever you require. Yes, some lim some limitations are there, and obviously they, uh, they can be. And uh, in case, now, if as I talked about the limitation, if, if you are aware about the app scripts of the Google app platform, then those limitations can be overcome. But this requires a little advanced knowledge, which, which is out of the scope for this particular session. So this can be taken upon, lit, uh, upon later, uh, maybe on, on request, when uh, you, know, you feel like. But right now, this is, this is the whole thing which you are going to, you know, uh, experience maybe in next next sample which I'm going to create. So, Raga, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to create a small sample website. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you give your own time website. and you just keep continue. No problem. Uh, okay, right. So, uh, let's say I am a, a, a science teacher uh, and I want to share some couple of things with my students. So, how I do? I, I take a sample. Now, what exactly I'm going to do is I, I will be, uh, you know, uh, taking up uh, uh, just give me a minute. I will be taking up a few of the things. Like very first thing, I will create uh, a page. Uh, okay, I, I, I just change my format first. So that things can be a little visible. So I will be uh, creating a page for a subject. The very first thing will be the subject page. Second will be a collection of topic page. And third, I will be creating a particular topic page post. So this will be like a, a kind of solution which anyone can use for a particular, uh, uh, you know, for a particular set of content. 
So let's start with that. Uh, before that, I make undo for everything, uh, whatever we have done. And uh, OK, so we are there. So this uh, page, this is the home page for science subject. Is there any chance of inserting mathematical symbols? Uh, and I haven't uh, done that, but I think it can be done uh, by using the symbol table which is given here. Because uh, one of attendees she asked, uh, can we just insert mathematical symbols in that particular page? That is how. Yes, that can be done. Yeah. That, that, that can be done. Hmm. Uh, Directly, I, I never did that, but one, once I create a Google Doc mm -hmm. and I put symbols uh, using this, uh, you know, symbol uh, facility which is already there in Google Doc, and I, I make a copy of all, all content and, and I paste it on my web page. And that is the, I think, way which, which can be done here as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, uh, I will be continuing with the thing. So. This is the home page for the science subject. Whatever the content you want to put, you can put, you know, to make it elaborate, right? And I make a save, right? Now, next thing, as I said, the very first page I am going to create for uh, uh, the subject. So I click on the uh, plus button. Now, once I click on the plus button, I am take, uh, I'm shown this uh, another page where I need to choose uh, the page of uh, the name of the page. So I put science subject page. So whatever the title you want to put, you can put. I just written it as science page, uh, science subject page. So here, next thing it says the page template. By default, it is web page only. Next thing is announcement, file cabinet, and list. Uh, uh, I will be discussing about announcement in the next page, which I which I am going to create and file cabinet as well as list, right? So by default, I start with the page itself so that we doesn't make it, uh, you know, uh, more hard for you to grasp. So very first thing is the web page. Now I want to put this page on the top level. The top level I say as, uh, let's say, I open up a website along with this. Now whenever I say the top level, it will be shown here after the home, right? If I say put page under the home, then it will be, you know, uh, put under the home section and it will be, you know, intended toward the right. So I show you both the things here as well. So put page at the top level and I click on the create button. So this is the uh, simplest way to create uh, your page. So now if you see, we are having an edit page again. So science subject. This, uh, let's say I put this page will contain, uh, will be used to share the content related to science subject, right? And let's say you want to put your author information that can be done. Date of publishing and any detail you want to put, right? Now, next thing I want to put here, topics, right? So let's say uh, I make it a bulleted topic. So very first thing I say, uh, let's say I want to put periodic table. I'm just taking it ran randomly. Next, let's say I want to put uh, react reaction of sodium with water, right? And one more I put here, just to give you a, a single thing. Uh, anything you can suggest, Raghav? You are you are having a biotechnology, you know, <laughs> specialization. <laughs> no, no, okay. give it any name. Global Sorry? warming. Global warming. 
Okay. Global warming. You know, uh, computer uh, people are having, uh, you know, trouble with getting things remembered, right? It's a long time back for me. <laughs> So anyway, so periodic table, reaction of sodium with water and global warming. So the, these are the three topics, let's say, as a teacher I'm sharing. So let's say I want to increase the size, I just put it as uh, 16, right? Now I want to make it bold, done, and so. Now if you see, by default, this page has two, three things. One is this uh, this edit section that we require. One is the add files in case you, if you want to add some more files to this. You can just click on the add file and it will ask you to upload two of the files with, uh, from your system. So let's say I, I want to uh, add this particular image. This will be you know, uploaded and will be provided as a link uh, or uh, you know, the thumbnail here. Right? So in this case you can add them. If you want to keep these comment section here you can keep it. Or if in case if you want to remove both these things, that can also be done. That is what I'm going to cover here uh, uh, now, just to give a pause, because we have created a uh, subject page. The very first thing which I've listed uh, here, that has been created. The subject page is created. Now, it's the time to get uh, details about these settings. Now, if I want that my page must not have these files and uh, the, this comment section, I have a page setting option here, right? So revision, I, I take these things line by line. Revision history is something, let's say I work today, uh, some content is added on this page. Tomorrow I add another content. Uh, third day I add another content. The revision of this page can, is maintained. And once that revision is maintained, if I want to scroll back, uh, you know, make undo to uh, any of the version, I can do it right right away. Now, if I click on this subscribe to page change, it will email me every change of, uh, done on this page. And this is done in, in those uh, situations. Let's say I'm an administrator. I have, given, I have given the right to some other people to add work on this particular page. So whenever they make any change to this particular page, that change will be, you know, said, uh, notified on my email immediately. Next is the page setting. Now page setting is something which is related to the current page which is under edit here. Now once I click on the page setting, it, it gives me a number of options here. Now very first option it says show page title. Now this page title will be shown in this particular place. Second thing is show link to the sub pages. If any sub page of this particular page exists, then the sub link will sub sub pages links will be shown. That you you can uh, you will be you know experiencing in uh, uh, once I create the second particular page that is collection of topics. You will uh, I will show you that how this this uh, sub page link has been has, has to be shown. Next is allow attachment or allow comments. Now if I uncheck these two options, the uh, file section and the comment section will be disabled for this particular page, right? So right now I keep attachment and I disallow the comments page. Now if you want to change the page description, you can do it here now. Like I write it as this page will contain content related to science, right? And that's it. So I save it. And if you see, once I save it, the comment section is gone. So it's all up to you that how you uh, you you know give access to people to at least comment or to you know access your files which you have uploaded with your page and everything like that. So next next particular setting which uh, is here is like you want to print a page, that's it the shortcut. So it will you know make it as a printable uh, material. So this is pretty easy. So you 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 can see that how how it, it will be printed, right? So this is a sample here. Now, uh, next thing is uh, you want to copy this page, you want to move this page, you want to delete. So this 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 whole things are the utility one. You you can use it uh, for your own purpose, right? Now you want to preview this page as a viewer. This is how it will be shown to the user, right? So everything is handy on uh, on this uh, you know menu button. Now next thing you want to save this template. Let's say you made some modifications. 
to the basic design and you want to save this as a template, you just click on save page, it will be saved as a template. So let's say science, uh, science page, uh, so science subject template, uh, page template is there and description is uh, anything. Let's, let's say I would X, Y, Z, right? And default location is the top. If you want, you can change it, right? After that, I want to change the template. Once I click on this particular template, Okay, that's uh, weird. So once I click on this particular uh, section, oops, I made some mistake, I think. Okay, so next thing, once I click on change template, the same thing. If you see here, now you, you can see your subject listing here. That science subject page template is available. Now if you want to choose, you can choose. You can you want to change some other templates like announcement that can also be done. Announcement I'm going to show uh, in the next five minutes, I think. So I made a change here. And after that, some site actions. You want to subscribe to site changes. This will be this section, uh, this particular uh, option is for particular page only. If you want to have uh, uh, subscription for changes done on any page of the site that can be done from here. You want to edit the site layout. Now this is very, very interesting. Now once I click on that edit the site site layout, I can change some of the layout of my, uh, my website. So let's say I want to uh, have a horizontal navigation. Now once I click on this, you will see these links can will be displayed here, right? Next thing, if I want to disable the sidebar that can be done from this particular part. Now, you must be wondering that when I click on uh, the sidebar, sidebar has three links. One is the sitemap, one is the science subject page, and one is the home button. Now, if I want to make the, those things available here as well, I just need to click on this particular bar. So, I, I clicked on it. I want to add some pages to it. So, I add site subject page, then I want to show sitemap as well. I can even change the formats for these uh, uh, menu horizontal uh, navigation as well. So once I click OK, everything will be available in the similar manner as you have in your uh, left hand side uh, sidebar, right? So it's all up to you that how you use it. So either you want to use sidebar or navigation or both. So you just need to click on these buttons to you know, make them enable or disable. So I keep horizontal navigation because it gives me more space on the page. And I disable the sidebar. Now if I want to put some custom footer, that can also be done. So once I click on this custom footer, that, that is available on the end. And if, if you haven't noticed it, so I clicked on custom footer. It is available right now at, at the bottom of the page. Once I click on this, Add the, uh, click to edit custom footer. I can put things here like fun with Google uh, copyright 2015. And once I click, my footer will be available with the fun with Google copyright 15. So some customization which you can do, right? So this is how this edit site layout work for us. Uh, next thing is uh, the main part that is manage site. Now this will lead us to this particular uh, site setting page. So I will be covering this in, uh, in the last. So I, let's come back to our uh, uh, page and create the second one that is the collection of topic page. So once uh, I'm done with the page because I want to make a collection of these topics, so what I do is I click on new uh, page button and I make it as uh -oh. so I set it as science subject page collection so I type it as
so once I click on this announcement uh, part, so it will you know give me a page like just like the blog. So what I do is I put this page under the science subject page. So once I click on it uh, and create it, you will see that a page is created, but now there is a difference. Now, if you want to see the difference, so if I, uh, I just click on this. Now, this is the previous page which we, ha we have created. Now, this page doesn't contain any new posts because this is just only a simple web page. Whereas, we have created an announcement page. So, announcement is uh, announcement is just similar, like today I have some announcement to do, tomorrow I have some announcement to do, so I create new announcements uh, corresponding to this particular page. So every announcement will be displayed on this page only, and this will be in chronological order, right? So the very first thing as, uh, as we need to do it on uh, this particular announcement page is to click on the new post, it will lead us to the another page where it says untitled post. Previously it was untitled page. Now it is untitled post. So let's say I want to create this untitled post as periodic table. So I did it as like periodic table is a new uh, uh, post on this particular page and uh, let periodic table is a very important part of chem chemistry uh, chemistry subject right now I want to add a particular image right so that can be done using this particular method so I click on this image now I have two options either I can upload an image or I can put a web address here right so for that I need to search for a periodic table address I say periodic table and let's let's search it out and images and let's say I find this particular one relevant so I go on visit uh oh I made a mistake uh, I think I must choose view image so once I click on view image I get the link and I put it on this particular place, right? So once I do it, it is available for me and uh, can type periodic table as a description and I click OK. So things are pretty easy for you to import from other links as well, right? So in a similar manner, you have, uh, uh, you know, you have an option to add files to this particular uh, page as with this post as well. So this is how we do. Now, let's say you don't want to publish this page, uh, this post. So you can click on this save draft only. It will not be published anywhere. Whereas if you click on save, it will be published directly on your uh, on your website. So if if I come back to this particular section and let's say I refresh it. If you see, uh, I'm not able to you know, uh, check out uh, the page of that uh, the thing which we have created right now for the post. So for that, we need to make some changes. So I go and uh, click Edit Site Layout. I click on this navigation bar, and uh, I add one more page which we have created right now. That is, now if you see, you, you have. Uh, uh, this uh, science subject page collection which is under the uh, hood of science subject page so I select that and I intend it toward the right so that means this particular link will be displayed under uh, science subject page so once I click OK and if whenever I you know close it now you can see that once I hover on the science subject page, it is displayed here. So once I click on this, you will you haven't seen any posts because we have saved it as draft. Now it says your draft post is periodic. Yeah. Uh, it is only displayed to me uh, because I'm editing this particular uh, uh, website. So 
if, if you as a user accessing this particular page, you will not be able to uh, you know check it out. So once I click on save, it will be published for web. So now once I uh, go back to my assigned subject page collection, you will see a post here, right? So this is the first thing which you do. So that means we are done with our first part of periodic table. Now you want to link this this particular post with this particular link. So you click, you choose or select this particular text, click on this link part, right? This is actually a link uh, link symbol. Or you go to insert and click on this link. So any of options you can, any of the options you can choose. Now here again you have two three things which you, uh, which you can choose from. One is the site pages which we have created on this particular website itself. If you want to add an external link, that can also be done using the web address section. If you have any app script, that can be done as well, which is the which is the advanced part. So I'm just picking up with the sites page. So once I click on this periodic table, because that is a post which has been created under science subject page collection, I click OK, and that will be given as a link. Now when I save it, you will see that it, it is being given a link. So once, once I click on this particular link, it will take me to that particular post. Right, so this is how things work. Now, next thing is, I, I was talking about sub-page sub links. Now, if you notice this particular section, it was not there previously. Right, so now it shows that, that you have a sub-page for this science subject page. And that sub-page is basically a science subject page collection. Once you click on this, you will be on the same page which we have created right now. Right, so this is how, how things work actually uh, in sites, uh, in Google sites, right? Now, coming to the next part, because as this is an announcement page, I can create n number of posts. So, one post is already created, another post I'm going to create, and that is again clicking on the new post. Once I click on new, uh, new post, again, uh, untitled post is there. Now, I want to create a post for sites for the second topic that is reaction of sodium with water now if I want to put a video with respect to this that can be done so what I do is I search for reaction of sodium with water and it gives me a YouTube link so before I make a copy of this particular page, uh, sorry, of this particular link, I, I need to, you know, give the name for the post. So I have given. Okay, so I pause this. So I make a copy of this particular URL. I go to untitled uh, post and uh, I say water. So this page post will demonstrate about reaction of sodium with water, right? So to insert my YouTube video, I again go to insert link and then I go to this particular part, YouTube. I paste that particular URL here. Whatever the size I want to choose, I can choose. So by default, I'm taking 640 into 360. You want to give a title for your video that, that you can give. So let's say demo of reaction. And I click on save. Now this is pretty easy to add video on your page. So once I, right now it's not displaying anything. Now once, uh, you can also de decide that where you want to show it. You want to center it. You want to uh, you know, left align it, right align it. It's all up to you. So I keep it center align, and uh, I make it save. So once I save this particular thing, that video which I have uh, you know chosen from uh, the YouTube is already on my page. I need not to take care about any of uh, you know the headache of uploading a video and then uh, you know, pasting it on uh, some server, then creating a link and so on. So it's already there. You click on it, it will be you know, directly playable on the system. 
So it's all up to us that how we utilize all, all these things. So it's, it's, it's all up to you how you experiment with your, your part, right? So this is how we, how we do. So as the second post is created, I come back to this particular page again, right? I need to refresh it because uh, uh, the link is to be, you know, uh, refreshed for the new post. So what I do is I again edit this particular page. I choose this particular section and I create a link here for the new post which I have created with the name of reaction of sodium. Right, so it's, its link is already there. So once I save it, I click on it, you will see that you will be taken to the post of reaction of sodium with water. Right, so this is how you can link your page. You can create your own course, you can course, uh, then once your courses, the course page is there, then or subject page is there, then you can create sub pages for that, and so on. So if I go and click on this collection page, you will see that you you have a multiple you know uh, post uh, posts available on the single page, and they are like an in, in, in an order. The latest one is shown uh, first, and the the previous ones which we have uh, created previously is shown afterwards that. So there, there will be a sequence for it. So the latest will be always shown first. The next thing is global warming as uh, Raghav suggested. So I again go and search for it some some content. So let's say uh, this is uh, some text of global warming. So what I do is I click on this and this particular uh, uh, demo will be with respect to that how you can include your drive uh, components in your website. So I, I come back to this place. I just copy and paste this. So copy it. Drive.google.com. Let's say I create a document with the name of uh, the global warming. So I create new and docs so I name this document as global warming I'll keep it okay and I do it like this so let's say this this is the document we have created now next thing I want to share it on my page. Okay, uh, so I'm going to create a new post. My post name is Global Warming, and I want to, you know, insert that drive document into this. So I click on document. So what I did is, I, I do it again, I clicked on insert, then I went to this drive section and then I clicked on this document, right? And once I click on document, it will display in the, in the list of all the documents which are already there. So I click on global warming and I select it. So I want to include a doc, uh, title for this, I can make some changes for this, let's say global warming document, right? You want to set some height, you want to set some pixels. By default, it is 100%, so it will cover all the page, and this is here. So again, you can keep it centered, you can keep it right aligned and all. So once I save this particular post, you will be displayed with the document which is, which is already there on your uh, particular drive, right? So everything which is there on your drive you can also you know attach it with your website so this is how this whole ecosystem work right so these are the things which you can do so right now we need to again change uh, not change again link to this particular page so I go on you uh, know okay I didn't edit it so I go on global warming I click on uh, I select this I click on link and I select the page Right, so global warming is already there, and I click on it. Once I save it, so this is 
how we have. So let's say I copy it and I try to open it with uh, another thing. So this is this is how a viewer will uh, will be able to access your website. So this is the fun with Google. You have a home page. You have science subject, and sub uh, sub page of that science subject is page collection. And you have sitemap. So when I click on sitemap, you will you will be displayed with all the pages which you, which are already there on your website, right? So this is a, a shortcut to go to every page. So if I click on science page, it will display me these uh, links. If I click on periodic table, it will display me the page. If I go back to the page again, if I click on reaction with sodium and global warming. You will see your different posts are again displayed as a single page, right? So this is how your 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 students or your uh, you know followers can uh, you know access your website, and this is pretty simple and very easy. Now, right now, this is very simple. If you want to customize it, you can do it. I, I will be demonstrating that as well right now. So let's let's move to move back to our this part. Now, here comes the manage site section, which which I kept for the last. So once I click on manage site, you have a couple of things which you can you know change here. You want to put some note, a site notice, you can do it. Do it here. As as you can you know notice, we have given uh, a site as the description previously. You want to add it. This is a test site for demo, right? That can be done. Again, the same thing. The site contains mature content, and if in case if if you think that. Uh, 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 your users must be above 80. You can check this out. Your site storage is just displayed. If you want to make a copy of this particular website, you can do it from here. You just click on this, and that will be done. Now, you want to publish this site as a template. Now, this template will be similar to what I've shown you in the start. Template gallery. Your your particular template will be you know listed over there. Now, if you doesn't like this website, you want to delete it. You just hit this. It will ask you for confirmation, and that will be done. Right. So. Next part is this is very important. Configure search. I I, I forgot to mention it uh, previously. Now, if I say I uh, I want to search my website, that is pretty easy using this particular box. So this is already given by by Google itself. So I type global warming. So once I type global warming and click search, it will display me all the links which are already there on my website. So it's pretty easy. The similar functionality that you have on your uh, Google. Uh, search engine, right? So let's come back to these settings again. Now, if you have a, an, you want to, you know, uh, track that how many users are using my website. So that can be done from here. You just need to have your Google Analytics account. So this is a little advanced version. If, uh, once you are through with this, you can use it. Now, let's say you you know that your users are are accessing your website through mobile, right? So you can Check this particular section. It will automatically adjust your, uh, uh, you know, page uh, as per the mobile view, right? And if you want to allow security, let's say you don't want to, uh, you, you don't want other users to embed your links. So once you do it, allow embedding of your site. Oh, sorry. This this you need to check in case if you want to allow it, right? So it, it's up to you how you do it. Now last part is access settings. Now anyone who can view this site. Is a setting. If you want to keep it to collaborators only, that can be done here. So only collaborators will be able to access it. So I'm keeping it public. It will be there. Now, once you do all the settings, please don't forget to click save. If you don't do that, every setting which you have done will be lost. Right? So now my my settings are saved. Now next thing is recent site activities. Once I click on this, you will see that how many changes have been, have been done, and have been done, and who has done on it. Now, if I if I collaborate with the Raghav and he create a page, his name will be listed here. Whatever the changes he have done, that will also be listed. At what time, that will also be listed. So everything, every detail is already there. Now, next thing is the list of pages which you have on your website. Uh -oh. The list of pages which you have on your website will be listed here, right? So this is the similar manner as as we have seen on the site map. Next is attachments. Like I attach that particular uh, JPG file, it will be listed here as well. If you want to delete it, you can do it. 
you want to rename it, you want to re replace, move, whatever you want to do, that can be done from here. Now, this is the page template. If you want to you know, uh, change any of them, that can be done from here. So these options can be explorable for you, by you. App script is something advanced I'm not going to discuss here. If you have deleted any item, that will be listed over here. We haven't deleted anything yet, so it, it's, it's empty right now. Uh, general one, this is the same we did in, in the start, in the very first start of these, these settings. So next is the sharing and permissions. So here you actually allow how you want to share. Now if I want Raghav uh, to change, Raghav can I have your email address if you don't mind? It's, it's ra raghu email at the rate of gmail.com. R-A-G-H-U. R-A-G-H-U. B-L-O-O-M. B-L-O-O. Sorry. B-L-O-O. B for ball. Blue. B for ball. B-L. Okay. L. O-O-M. O-O-M. At the rate of gmail. At the rate of gmail.com. So, as I mentioned his email here, I can give him a right of uh, edit, view, or owner. So if I create him owner, so we both are owners now. So but he can do the same thing as administrator what I am doing right now. If I want to change this thing to can add it, so at that point of time, he will only be able to add it the pages. He will not be able to delete them, right, or add anyone else to, you know, collaborate on this. So this is how you can collaborate with other people to work on one single website. Right, so this is how things work in collaboration. Now, next thing is web address. As I mentioned in the start, that if you have your own domain, on own registered domain, you can put it here. It will be attached with your Google sites and whatever the uh, you know links uh, uh, you access using that particular domain, that will be you know uh, translated into Google sites. Right, so it will be pretty easy. Now, example, if I if I show you here is. I have a website with the name of uh, www.superwitch.com. So this website is purely created in Google Sites, but I have my own domain. I listed this particular thing in my web address, and it is forwarding in uh, that web address as per my domain itself. So this is how things work. So it doesn't show here sites.google.com slash sites. Instead of, it, uh, instead of that sites.google.com, it shows my own domain. Right. So this is how things work actually. Now, as like this supervis.com is pretty, you know, eye-catching, uh, a bit tough. Uh, in a similar way, we can also do that. Now, how we do it? That can be done by using themes, colors, and fonts. Now, if you if you want that, uh, you know, your site must be a little bit of colorful. That can be done using this uh, themes, colors, and fonts. So. And again, you can change your templates as well. As as you can see, we have see uh, we have choose, chosen the uh, blank slate here. In case if you want to change it to something else, you can change, right? So it's all up to you. So here, every font or text or color of your uh, website sections can be changed. So there are uh, around six sections which you can change. So let's say I start with site header because that will be you know more. Uh, you know, prominent to show. So let's say I again select the mustard color. So it is pretty, you know, similar to what I did with my, my website. So it's a mustard color and uh, let's say I want to change the page title color and the page title color must be in green. Right, so it will be done. It is done here. And similarly, I want to change horizontal uh, uh, this uh, background color and let's say I put uh, uh, the sky blue color. So it is there. Right, so this is the background one. If I want to choose a selected text, that can also be done. So background color for selected text will be this. So if you see, the home is changed. So it is pretty pretty colorful now. And uh, similarly, you can change any, any of the section and they are listed out in this particular section of, uh, of themes, colors, and fonts. So it's all up to you how you experiment with uh, this whole thing. Now, if I come back uh, uh, to uh, this particular part, and if I refresh this, 
viewers link, you will see that my website is now a little bit of colorful. Right, so this is how you can, you know, work on your web, uh, your own website and uh, uh, you can share your content with uh, other people. And one last thing which I want to, you know, share uh, and, uh, with you is, like here it say, here it shows me a link for the collection page and I don't want people to, you know, access all the things at the same point of time, like this particular page shows. So what I can do here is, I can click on this gear button, I can click on page settings, oh, oh sorry, I made a mistake, I can click on this uh, gear button and I can click on edit site layout. Now once I click on edit site layout, I go to my navigation, uh, bar, navigation bar and I remove this particular link from here. Now instead of this particular link, I want to add all these three links beneath uh, the simple page. So very first link I want periodic table. That is done. Second thing, second page I want to put uh, the reaction. That is done here. And third thing I want to put here is uh, global warming. Right. So I click OK. And I want to make make all these things intended one space on the left. That means or under the science page table. So I click OK and I close it. So you can see here, okay, it's still refreshing. Now you can see here that, oh, uh oh, it's not. Right, so let's, let's check it on the uh, user's view. Now once I refresh it, you will be able to see here that under the science uh, subject page, periodic table, reaction of sodium water and global warming, these links are shown. So it's all up to us that how we, you know, arrange all these things. And uh, this is this is a perfect way to, you know, go, uh, go and share your content across the internet, right? And uh, it's all, all yours, your part that how you experiment with it. And along with that, the la last thing, uh, uh, which because we have a short of time, I, I already took I think 15 minutes more uh, than what I was, <laughs> you know, I was supposed to do. So what uh, last thing I want to tell you is that you can also share your calendar here. It's it's in a similar way uh, like as we have uh, uh, this part. Uh, when I edit a page and when I click on uh, this insert and go to calendar, when I click on this calendar, this any of the calendar which you choose will be displayed on the particular section of the page wherever you want to show it, right? And again, once you click, uh, once you want to add a map, that can also be done here, right? So in, in this particular way, you can actually, uh, you know, add maps, calendars, you can share your plan with your, uh, uh, you know, colleagues or your students or whomsoever you want to share the details. And in the similar way, you can add on the groups. So anything which is available in uh, in uh, Google ecosystem, Google Apps ecosystem, uh, which is there for collaboration purpose, can be used and can be set up in your website. And I think this is, this is uh, pretty much uh, end of the session from my side. Uh, Raghav, uh, I, I think uh, from here you can, you know, you can answer some of the questions on. raised by the audience. I think, uh, I think okay. Sangeeta so, Gulati so, and Harminder, Harmit Kaur, they have asked some of the things. Because anyway, uh, from the session is means here. If I, I, I require around one hour, uh, you okay. just hear the, uh, the doubts, whatever the things with they. Okay, so it is it, it is on the today's meet, right? No, no, I have just sent you on chart. Okay, right. So if I start, uh, that is how can right. we add a blog to the site, and uh, can the theme of the site change once allotted? How what if that's it. that is the second question asked by the. Okay, okay. The, these are the two questions which I asked by. Okay. Right, so uh, if you want to add a blog to site, I never did it myself in uh, NAS. 
I think the option is uh, there. I need to check. Uh, just give me a sec. Are, are you talking? Uh, one question, rather, is uh, Harmeet is talking about uh, the blogger or uh, or a simple blog? Now, if if she is talking about a blog, blog, how to add a, a blog in this? Okay, so if 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 she is looking for a blog kind of thing, as it is given on the blogger, this announcement page is the best. Yeah. Uh, to utilize it as. As, as blog, and she can make this particular page as the home page for uh, uh, her uh, website whenever she create, right? Yeah. So that that can be done. So announcement template is actually a kind of blog, blog. right? Now, if if you see here, it's it's a, it's a blog. So if I click on uh, you know, this sub page, this is a this is a kind of blog. My latest. Uh, Post is shown on the first, and my this my uh, what do you say? The previous one, the first ever post is shown on the last. So this is how. This is how you do, right? So whatever the theme you want to change, you can do it. So if I want to put a slate, now once I choose it, it will display me how my website is going to be displayed, right? This is a kind of preview. And once I save it, my site will be converted into it, right? So you can change the template, whatever the template you want. Let's say I want to put desert plane here. That can be done. So if I click Save right now, uh, and I go back to fun with Google, you will see that my template, uh, my base template has been changed. So I think the question has been answered. Yeah. Uh, uh, is anything uh, else which is left? Nothing. It's a great presentation and congratulations, Anupenda. You have done a very nice presentation and you have given a detailed view of how Google can how Google Sites can be developed and hope most of the audience they felt that it is a any complete a fast track like that they are feeling that because I have received some mails that people are saying it is a fast track I told them you will be getting the complete recording that you can review later and you can just go according to that right. how do you feel Anupinder? <laughs> Uh, I, I feel honored, Raghav. Thanks, thanks a lot for you know giving me an opportunity to interact with uh, everyone out there. And uh, you know, yes, thanks to you. It's, it's all your efforts. I, I would I would look forward that we'll do such kind of webinars more and more with collaboration of more teachers. Actually, the the team of audience which are there here today, around 12 people were there, including both of you. And all those 12s are GCPs and uh, national ICT winners, some are uh, ICT consultants and some people are Microsoft winners. All are great people are there, great audience we have today. And I hope uh, uh, you keep continuing joining this kind of sessions in the next future also. And uh, mm -hmm. uh, for all the audience, uh, I'm sorry that we cannot continue because it's already 8.15, 8 past 15. And I'll be taking on Google Forms uh, on 30th, around 7 to 8 p.m. Because it requires minimum one hour to deal with the advanced uh, add-on and script. Uh, I'm very sorry for the thing that I could not continue this uh, webinar. I'm, I'm very sorry for no, 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 because I'm it so is uh, Anupinder, there is nothing wrong with that because I, I, it is a highly informative and it is normally, I didn't think this much of uh, things are there. So that's why I just allowed you to speak whatever you want to speak. So that's why I just uh, saying sorry to the rest of the audience and I'll just keep continuing my webinar on 30th of this month at the same time and hope you are all enjoyed. And just we have some polls. Uh, uh, 
I'm just launching this poll. I'm just taking it now. So This is the poll which we have just asked you. People, please rate this and that we need a feedback from you people. Thanks for your voting. And there is one more thing. And, and the complete recording will be just the link will be posted in my Facebook page that is Tech for Teacher and also you will be the link will be sent to the, all the attendees through email also please go through it and just uh, enjoy the I just uh, I expect all the attendees will make their own Google sites. Thank you. Anupinder, still you are there? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you once again for the wonderful presentation. And uh, I hope we come up with such kind of presentation in the future. Thanks a lot. Sure. Thank you, Raghav.